So hey everyone, trying something different here. It's Tools, by the way, doing a Hobby Box battle between a Hobby Box of Top Series 1 and a Hobby Box of Top Series 2. Now, just as a first note on this, in the Series 1 opening, I was spending a lot of time looking for the short prints, etc. while I was filming. So there's going to be some heavy editing um, in the first half of this video with the Series 1 box. Uh, I, tr I assure you nothing was altered, that sort of thing. You'll see. Just uh, I had some interruptions, too, with the cat and such going on. So... I'm going to cut that out as best as I can. I'm going to put a lot of work into editing that. The Series 2 opening went a lot smoother, and that will pretty much be pretty straightforward. So what I'm going to do is open up a hobby box each of these, go through the cards at the end, check out some quick values and such, and, um, yeah, see who comes out on top and declare winner. So hopefully you guys enjoy this, and hopefully it's not too, too long a video. But, again, I'm opening two hobby boxes, so we shall see. Thank you all for watching in advance. Hey everybody, what's up? It's Tools uh, doing something a little different today. I've got two boxes here, um, hobby boxes, uh, one of Topps 2020 Series 1 and another one of Topps 2020 Series 2, uh, flagship series. I'm going to do a little box war or pack war here and see out of the two boxes which one gives me the better value, um, both from uh, a collecting standpoint and a, a value standpoint. I'm going to um, do this on the fly. I'm going to pass through most of the base cards and not read the names like usual. And, um, you know, pull out the rookies, pull out the inserts and hits and all that. It should be one auto or relic per box, each one of these. And in the end of the video, we'll see which comes out and what I think was the better box. And then we will um, try to match that up against uh, another box down the line here. So we'll figure we'll start with the two tops main series and kind of go from there and try something a little different here on the channel. Um... This week I recently finishes up uh, editing a whole bunch of videos and such. So uh, getting through the backlog and I'm going to do m less videos in the future but more kind of cool and, and funner stuff like this as well as, you know, different um, collection videos, that sort of thing as opposed to just ripping open endless retail boxes here or there because uh, the past three weeks I've not found anything in the stores at all. Um, but anyways, let's start. Uh, try to beat quick as possible with this we're opening two hobby boxes so you know that'll take a little bit of time as is but let's see which one of these comes out uh, on top and we'll kind of move on to the next round of the i'm going to call this the uh, hobby box wars um might do it necessarily not with just hobby boxes but some retail boxes try to find boxes of comparable value uh these both go for the same exact price online you know it's top flagship a little higher this year than past years of course because of the just the more interest in the hobby and things in general are going at a higher clip. So save this uh, special pack for last. Go ahead and pull these out. So there is six, 12, 18, 20, 24 packs here. Throw the box back here in the background. Of course, Pete Alonzo on the um, the cover of series one um, so yeah like I said we'll try to just go through pull out hits and pull out good stuff here's the hobby exclusive uh, chrome pack we will save that for last There's usually some pretty decent stuff in there so let's go ahead and put that on the bottom of the pile here and let's mix some of these up etc so we'll see what box comes out on top in this little uh, uh, pack war or box war like I said, I'm not going to read through the names of all the bases, etc. Um, in Series 1, I believe they don't um, put the short prints backwards, which would be a little annoying, but I can try to pick those out as I go. So we're looking for rookies. I will, you know, fan through the cards, pull out the rookies, pull out the uh, good stuff. We'll see which kind of... Uh, in my opinion, what kind of comes out on top. So there we got a couple uh, rookies, a Holson and a Savale. And we got a 85 insert of Jose Barrios, a Jose Uriquiti rookie. And that's all for pack number one. We'll start a pile for the rookies, pile for some of the inserts up there. Again, should be one auto or relic in these boxes. Hopefully we get an auto. Those are the more sought-after cards. And I will just pack number two. There's an Aquino rookie. That is a good one. 
Austin Riley, Future Stars, Nick Solak, rookie. I'm less high in the Keenan rookies now that I figured out that he's 26 years old and he's already lagging behind some of the other class. So we got a tops now. Insert Albert Pujols. Those cards are pretty terrible in my opinion. Don't like them. Jake Rogers, rookie. So that would. Future Stars, Yaskrimski. Uh, Robel Garcia, rookie. A Pete Alonzo, Topps Choice. 1965 Topps Baseball Choice card. I've never even seen those before. Interesting. Maybe those are hobby exclusive. I'll throw him up there. Uh, Sam Hillard, rookie war type deal so but I'll try to do these again as quick as I can Tatis Jr. cup card that gets pulled aside because the cup cards are kind of the new trend of um, getting some value uh, that cup card for Tatis goes for four or five bucks right now which is crazy for just a regular base card a JD Martinez 85 insert here we go for my Red Sox uh, Michael Baez, a rookie, I think, was the only rookie in that pack. Next pack. Uh, Juan Soto. So far, we're lacking on the rookie cards. Uh, this is a Matt Chapman. This could be a short print. It is. It's uh, 84, so we got a Matt Chapman short print. That's very nice. Hey, Michael Chavis, Future Stars for my socks. And no uh, base rookies in there at all, huh? In touring, watch me check out the back of those. But um, I'll try to catch them as I go. I don't want to miss anything, but I'll, I will stop doing that. It's just kind of dead. Dead silence. Um, you can usually tell from the pictures, too, if something's a little different. Kyle Lewis rookie card. That's a good one. Very nice. And Bubba Starling. Zach Collins rookie. That card felt weird. Kimball. Cole. There we go. And a Josh Rojas rookie. Well, this Garrett Cole ends in 84, too. So I'm not sure what's up with that. These are both end in 84. I'll have to look that up. Maybe I'll do a secondary video where I pick out those. Um, I'm not sure how or why those are different, but they seem to be. Alright, continuing on here after a brief distraction. Yeah, so far is a Roger Clemens Decades Best insert. That is a pretty decent one there. Still, again, a little lacking on the rookies. There's a Sean Murphy. See any other rookies in that pack? And those, uh, the Matt Chapman and the Garrett Cole are short prints. Um, they're not supers or anything, but they are short prints. So, again, I'm going to have to do some editing and stuff on this video, so it's, it's fine. card looks different. It's like silverish. Nope. Just looks different. Or off color. Shohei Otani. There's a Zach Gallen rookie. There's our first gold of the box of Freddy Peralta. Numbered at a 2020. Jeff Peterson and Jeff McNeil, future stars. Check the backs really quickly for the SPs. The 
Alright, did not see any there. Continuing on. Nothing super exciting so far. We haven't gotten our hit or anything. A um, couple okay rookies, but nothing crazy. The best card so far is probably the Kyle Lewis we pulled. A couple short prints, but, you know, again, nothing crazy. That Garrett Cole is one of the um, uh, short prints you get the most often. Uh, there's a Jimenez Gold Cup card, a Diaz, Isan Diaz rookie, a Wasapek rookie. Eighty-five insert of Zach Gallon, and that is a rookie one. That's pretty good. JT Ruddle and a Shane Bieber base cards. Let me check the back really quick for those SPs. Right, next pack. Yeah, nothing exciting. No Yordans, Bichettes, nothing. Michael Brosu, rookie. Dustin May, rookie. That's gone up in value recently. That's a good one. May's having a good start of the season here. Marcel Dubon, rookie. Trent Grisham, rookie. Austin Nola, rookie. So there's some rookies coming in. None of the tremendously insane ones, but... I'm still pretty good. And no short prints in that pack. I think we got a maybe another gold in this pack. We'll see. Uh, Seth Brown rookie card for the A's. Steven Matz. Marco Gonzalez and 85 insert Reggie Jackson, Yankees. Now, this is Mac Stashy. Again, let me check these SPs out really quickly, guys. I'm going to actually do some heavy editing and cut out all this uh, dead silence. We'll have to see. They're a lot easier to pick out in Series 2 because they have the cards backwards, which makes sense. There's a Gavin Lux rookie. Finally another decent one. Lewis Thorpe rookie. A home run challenge, Manny Machado. I don't like these home run cards. Some people have had good luck with them. I just don't really care for them. Adrian Morjan, rookie. All right, I'm just going to roll through. If I see something that might look like a short print, I will check it. AJ Puck, rookie. Frankie Lindor, Hinjin Ryu, League Leaders, Mike Cleffinger, Billy Hamilton, John Lester, Jackie Bradley, Decades Best 2010s, Los Angeles Dodgers, Jake Arrieta, and a Christian Vasquez. Brendan McKay, rookie. Harrison. Patrick Sandoval, rookie. Mike Soroka, Gold Cup. We got a uh, Independence Day parallel of Miles Nicholas from the Cardinals. Uh, numbered 67 out of 76. That's a low numbered card. That's pretty cool. Put that up here in the the good piles. Woodruff and a Nelson Cruz. Uh, first um kind of parallel I've gotten in these sets other than a gold or a rainbow. So that's pretty nice. Low number card. Anthony K rookie. 
Alex Verdugo, Nick Senzel, Future Stars, Edmund, Future Stars, Fegley, Gamal, Sterling Marte, Decades Best, 1950s, Larry Doby, Jan Moncada, and Franmil Reyes. Yeah, nothing crazily exciting so far. Tony Gonsolin, rookie. Bo Bichette, rookie. There we go. That's one of the good ones. Cranky. Uh, Jose Martinez, Randall Gerchuk. Kelly, Meadows, Yankees, Cardinals. Got a rainbow parallel, Max Stasi. Not numbered. David Dahl and Adbert Adelzale. Rookie card. Still looking for a hit. Nico Horner, rookie. He, pretty good one there. Harper, Givens, Castro, Yamamoto, Kurt Suzuki. Dodgers team card, Christian Yelich. Decades next, Bo Bichette. Pete Alonzo, cup card. And Kyle Schorber. Jose Barrios, Jackson, Trotchman, David Price, Hansel Robles, Louis Garcia, Nicky Lopez, Sean Doolittle, Ian Kennedy, Max Kepler, Talion, Miller, Trinan, and a Marcakis. Again, no rookies at all in that pack. A little weird. I think what I'll do is actually go through you know, look for the card values and such, and then do a quick little video at the end, just showing um, the best hits. Pete Alonzo, another gold cup, well, not a gold cup, elite leaders. Merrill Kelly, Ken Giles, Red Sox team card, Phillies, Manny being Manny, 85 insert Jackie Robinson, it's a cool one. Luke Voigt and a Mike Trout base card. Cooper, hands. Uh, Darjo Agrizel, rookie. Blair Jr., gold cup. Kettle Marte. Travis Demerit, rookie card. Here's our hit. It's going to be a Logan Webb, 85 rookie card auto. That's pretty cool. I like that one. So that's our auto for the box. Glad we got an auto, not a relic. And love these 85 cards. And it is a rookie one. So that's pretty cool. Let's get him in a sleeve real quick. Have to look that up to see how much that goes for roughly. But that's a uh, pretty good auto. I like it. Uh, ben Attendee. Next pack. Glacius, Rendon, Mora, Bell. Chris Paddock, Future Stars, Polanco, Santana, Longoria, Jalen Davis, Rookie, Tommy Pham, 85 insert of Johnny Bench, Cesar Hernandez, and Anthony Santander. Only a couple packs left in this box. Again, nothing, nothing crazy at all, so... It's looking like Series 2 may could pull out in front here. I think the overall the better set is Series 1. you got a lot more 
good rookies spread out. Abraham Toro. Whereas Series 2, you're just looking for Robert. Our rainbow is uh, Manny Machado. Pretty good one. Mike Fires and David Peralta. Again, we're not hitting too, too much for rookies. Judge. Bellinger. Braun. Hanser Alberto. Randy Arena, Rookie. Freedy. O'Neill. Rendon. Strasburg. Hanniger. Juan Soto. Decades best, Ricky Henderson, 1990s. Michael Pineda and Javi Baez. One pack left, and then our bonus pack here. All right, so we got a Michael Conforto, Anthony Rizzo, Nick Peralta, Trent Thornton, Max Muncy. Andres Munoz, rookie. Master and Apprentice. A Tim Anderson, league leaders. Jose Abreu, league leaders. Glaber Torres. Garrett Cole. We got a black parallel. It's Manny being Manny. Tatis Jr. and Machado celebrate. This is numbered out of 69. 28 out of 69. It's a checklist card. So probably not a good one there. I'd rather much rather have a player, but pretty low serial numbered. That's cool. I can go up there. So we got two lower numbered serial cards out of this box. And on to the bonus pack. Right, so we got a Max Kepler. Whit Merrifield, Chris Bryant, and a Dustin May rookie card is definitely the best one in that pack. Pretty cool. This is Chrome cards. I'm going to throw Dustin in a sleeve here. Then I'll do our quick little box recap. And uh, I will search through for short prints and all that uh, and uh, pull those out for a, kind of a follow up video. So our two best cards, I think, were these uh, Logan Webb Auto rookie card and this Dustin May Chrome rookie, 85 style. A couple other 85 style cards, Johnny Bench, Jackie Robinson, Reggie Jackson, Zach Allen, J.D. Martinez, Jose Barrios. A Pete Alonzo Topps Choice insert card. Uh, a couple short prints that I can see off the bat without having to look through, Matt Chapman and Garrett Cole. Uh, two numbered parallels, a black parallel out of 69 of Manny Machado and Tatis Jr. And a Miles Nicholas Independence Day parallel out of 76. A home run challenge, Manny Machado. Decades best inserts are Ricky Henderson, Larry Doby, the Los Angeles Dodgers, and Roger Clemens. A one gold card out of 2020 is a Freddie Peralta. A Decades Next, Bo Bichette. Rainbow Cards of Matt Stas and Manny Machado. Not serial numbered. One Tops Now insert card of Albert Pujols. And for rookies wise, definitely the top ones we got here. Nothing too crazy actually. But the top ones are going to be a Nico Horner, a Bo Bichette, Gavin Lux, Dustin May, Kyle Lewis, of course. Just, his cards have gone insane. Uh, one Aquino. And a Tatis Jr. Gold Cup card that is still worth uh, a few bucks nowadays. And a whole bunch of other rookies. So thank you all for watching this part one. We'll move on to the next box. And in the end, we'll do a recap. All right, on to our second box. Part of this Hobby Box Wars. This is Series 2. Just from initial lookout on our 
first box it was okay but nothing outstanding let's go ahead and see if series two baseball can beat uh series one all it takes is a couple of real bears and we'll be there um again i'm gonna look for short prints and stuff after save some time pull all these packs out we did get an auto in our first uh box series one so that was cool throw that over there and again, similar, we got his bonus chrome pack. We'll put that there. Hit a nice Dustin May out of the first box in that. So let's go ahead and start uh, ripping these open. Um, there will be editing in the first part of this video. We had some interruptions and such, but I will fix that. Herrera, Brown Brothers. Again, we're going to kind of roll through the base and pick out rookies and stuff like that. So Revalo rookie. Yama Gucci rookie. Got a uh, Vladimir Guerrero. Is this a 2030 insert, I believe? Tops 2030. Those are cool looking cards. Put that over there. Lopez and Kobe Allard. Again, I will check for short prints and stuff after I'm done. Ripping these open for time-wise sake and just for video interest um let's see here pack number two tyrone taylor rookie i will pull all the rookies and such aside justin dunn rookie so chu hansley irvin hernandez gallagher stripling davis a josh hater significant statistics insert Clint Frazier and James McCann. Lucas Sims. Charlie Morton. Diaz. Bader. Voth. Green. Junior Fernandez, rookie. Gregorius. Edwin Rios, rookie. Naylor. Wainwright. Home Run Challenge, Jordan Alvarez. Again, I'm not a big fan of the Home Run Challenge cards. An Eshelman rookie. And a Kaying Wong rookie. So we're getting all the okay kind of Tier 2 rookies in this. There's a big group of Tier 2 rookies and pretty much only one Tier 1 rookie, which is Robert. Steven Brault, Walker, Buxton, Hampson, Romo, Lowe. Alavino, Keyboom, Diaz, Canning, Lorenzo Kane, and we got an 85 insert, Jeff McNeil, Joey Wendell, and Nicole Hamels. Really like those 85 insert cards. I think those are very nice. I'll get the full set of those for sure. Reynolds, Gold Cup. Hamler, Gregorius, Sano, Williams, uh, Wade Jr., Rookie, Lamette, Nandez, Choi, Calhoun, Knapp, another 2030 insert of Tatis Jr. This time, that is a very good one. Tatis just on fire right now, probably going to be the MVP this year. D'Arnaud and Steve Wilkerson. Similar to the first box, just the Good amount of average so far. Nothing crazy. Minor Galvis Perez. Khan. Chad Wallach rookie card. Mnea. Willie Castro rookie card. Syndergaard Gardner Duffy. Romine eighty five insert a Mike Cleffinger. Dylan Bundy and Eugenio Suarez. Will Smith, Michael Kopech, Will Myers, Newman, Brantley, McCullers, DeShields, Eaton, Hap, Brendan Rogers, Future Stars. Colin Moran, we are Black Parallel, Kevin Kramer, 
from the Pirates. This is numbered at a 69. 65 at a 69. So that is a good numbered card there. Also got a Padres black parallel in our box of Series 1. Brian McCann and a Bruce Star Gratterall rookie card. Gratterall pitching pretty good for the Dodgers right now. It's too bad the Red Sox didn't want him for free, basically. Homer Bailey, Jose Abreu. O'Grady, rookie card. Garrett Cole. Rango Rivalo, rookie, once again. Katarini, uh, Ishu Yamaguchi, rookie. Quantrill, Corey Dickerson. Chirinos, Sinsu Chu. We got a Mike Trout insert. I think this is his own insert set. Michael Taylor and a Victor Robles gold cup. Brandon Lau, Luke Weaver, Adam Duvall, Baltimore Orioles, Hinsley, Irvin, Hernandez, Gallagher, Stripling, J.D. Davis, Ozzie Albies, Rainbow Foil, Jake Bowers, Altuve, and Elvis Andrews. Put our parallels up in one pile there. Well, so far, I must say, I think the first box has been better so far, but we'll see. It can turn around at any moment. Walker Bueller, Purcello, Rosario, Ivaldi, Jimenez, Ross, Mahale, Brucky, Trevino, James Marvell, rookie, a gold parallel, Michael Waka, numbered out of 2020. Most of the golds and rainbow foils and such aren't worth too much. Braves New World and a Nick Ahmed. Top Series 2 really lacking on the rookie cards this year. Like, really lacking on them. Series 1 had a ton of good rookies spread out, and Series 2 is just Robert or Bust. Diaz, Volley, Wick. There's a Robert, speaking of. So very nice. A couple of him, and we'll equal the total value of the first box. So that's very good. Um, running low on sleeves here. But he can go on the top loader. So we'll go ahead and put him there, of course, because it's all about him, this box. Cole Tucker, Josh Stoutmountain, a rookie. Zach Eflin, a decade's best Nolan Ryan insert. Eric Hosmer and a Travis Dayernod. That Robert base is about a $20 card still. Chris Taylor, Jamie Barita, Texas Rangers, Austin Voth, Green, uh, Junior Fernandez, rookie, Gregorius, Edwin Rios again, Josh Naylor, a gold Shogo Akiyama, number out of 2020, that is a rookie card, so that is cool. We got an 85 insert Cal Ripken Jr., Volters and a Ansville Garcia. Still looking for a hit in this box as well. Workman, Gallo, John Birdie, rookie, Pinder, Jake Fraley, rookie, Waka. Dakota Hudson, Lopez, a 2030 Pete Alonzo insert, Howie Kendrick, and Miguel Rojas. This card seems a little thick. There could be a relic in here, which unfortunately we would prefer an auto over a relic. Um, but nope, looks like it's just regular cards. Luis Araz, Fisher, Akiyama, rookie, Mijas, Wainwright, Serge Romo, 
Lowe, Ottavino, Keyboom, Diaz, Canning, and another 20-30 insert, this time a Frankie Lindor, Trevino, and Tom Murphy. Montas, Kyle Tucker, Mike Ford, Stallings, Lorenzo Cain, Burrito, Jimenez, Ross, Male, Barucki, Trevino, Decades Best, Roger Maris from the Yankees, Strasburg, and Charlie Blackman. Again, kind of uh, a little lacking. We'll see in the end what uh, kind of comes out on top here. Barnhart, Will Smith, Jack Mayfield, Steckenrider, Cespedes, Daniel Norris, Tanner Rourke, Jordan Luplo, Gaviglo, Brett Phillips. I haven't noticed any short prints either. Julio Urias, a Chris Bryant 85 insert, Danny Jansen, and a Spencer Turnbull. Kyle Seeger, Hoskins, Astadillo, Pollock, James Marvell, rookie, Yandy Diaz, Tom Tuolua, Wick. There's another Robert rookie. It's very good. We're up to two. I'm running out of top loaders. I only have one left. I want to save one for the auto. So. I will go ahead and just... um. Leave this in a, a softy there. Um, it looks like here's our hit, unfortunately. It is a, a relic. It was right after the Robert, and it's a Wilson Contreras 85 relic. Not, uh, not great. Just a little jersey patch there. Go ahead and get him in a thicker sleeve here. That looks to be like for hits there is that Wilson Contreras relic. No, Lily. All right, and Logan Webb and a Freeland. Seeger. Yeah, so that pack had a Robert and our hit in it. Too bad it was just a relic, but we will take the Robert. The Robert is probably going to be better than 90% of the hits we get, anyways. Castellanos, Chris Davis, Odor, Moore, Junis, Hauser, Ramos, Rias, Piscotti, Hunter Harvey, rookie, uh, Rainbow Foil, Kyle Freeland, and another gold foil, Jake Odorizzi out of 2020. Jose Ramirez and Jason Hayward. A few packs left. This hobby box of Series 2 baseball. Simeon, Suter, Brett Suter. Bednar, Trevor Story, Cole Tucker, Josh Stoutman, Zach Eflin, Yu Chang, rookie. The first we've seen of him in this box. Carlos Martinez, Mathis. Whitgren, we got 85 insert, Carlos Correa, Rio Ruiz, and Albert Pujols. We got a good number of packs left. We could still maybe hit a third Robert. That would be very nice. That would go a long way for making this box pretty good. Hyura, Mancini, Wade Jr., rookie, Lamette. Felix Hernandez, Choi, Calhoun, Knapp, Decades Best, Jim Palmer, 1970s, Ronald Tapia, and Foltowitz. Lowry, Lynn, Cobb, 
Gomes, Maldonado, Jake Cave, Margot, Kayleen, Dobnik. You got a backwards card, which is a short print of Blake Snell. There's our first short print we've seen here. And it's a Blake Snell. Shed Long and Profar. So we got three packs left and then our bonus pack. Glad we at least did get a, a short print out of it. And Blake Snell's a really good pitcher. Guzman, Severino, Upton, a Wallach, rookie, Manea, Castro, rookie, Syndergaard, Gardner, Duffy, Romine, uh, Decades Best Cleveland Indians, 1990s, Scott Oberg, and a Gio Gonzalez. Right, two packs left. Santana, Mookie Betts, Reds, Giants, Mitch Keller, Danny Mendick, rookie. First we've seen of the, him in this box as well. Mike Zunino, Kayla, uh, Kyle Garlic, rookie. Our first Warriors of the Diamond insert, and it's a Bryce Harper. A New York State of Mind, and a Mark Melicon. All right, last base pack, Plesak, Lake, Padres, Brantley, McCullers, DeShields, Eaton, Hap, Rogers, Anthony Rendon, Tops Now, and an 85, Aaron Nola, Colton Wong, and a Byung Hyung, or sorry, Quang Hyung Kim rookie. And on to our exclusive Chrome packs. Let's see if we can get something good here. Uh, Javi Baez, Alex Bregman, Ricky Henderson, that's a cool one, and a Quang Young Kim rookie card chrome. All right, to do a quick recap, those were our chrome cards. You got a Topps Now insert of Rendon, Warriors of the Diamond insert Bryce Harper, a short print of Blake Schnell, a one Trout Player of the Decade insert. A Jordan Alvarez home run challenge insert. Decades best inserts include Cleveland Indians, Jim Palmer, Roger Maris, and Nolan Ryan. A bunch of rookies that aren't Robert, so pretty much nothing there. Those can go right in with the base here. A couple of Tops 2030 inserts of Lindor, Pete Alonso, Tatis Jr., and Vlad Guerrero Jr. 85 inserts of Aaron Nola. Carlos Correa, Chris Bryant, Cal Ripken, Cleffinger, and Jeff McNeil. And also we got a relic out of the box for a hit of Wilson Contreras, an NL All-Star from the Cubbies. For parallels, we got a gold Mike Odorizzi, a gold Shohei Akiyama rookie, a gold Michael Waka. Rainbow foils of Kyle Freeland and Jake Bowers. And a black parallel numbered out of 69 of Kevin Kramer. And we got one insert of significant statistics, Josh Hader. And our big hits, of course, to the box where we had two base Louis Robert rookie cards. All right, now on to the total and tallies and see how these two boxes shape up against each other. All right, everyone, the moment of it all, Series 1 against Series 2, who will win? So start off with Series 1 and do our recaps here. So at a good stuff, we got a Kyle Lewis rookie card, valued approximately $5. A Bo Bichette rookie, valued at approximately $8, going off last eBay comps. A Gavin Lux rookie card, valued at about $6. It's Dustin May out of the Chrome Pack rookie card. Valued at about five dollars. Our hit for the box was a Giants Logan Webb rookie card, eighty-five style base auto. That, uh, according to last comps, about eight dollars there. A black parallel out of sixty-nine of the Padres Manny Machado and Tatis. 
that is about a $15 card, so that is a pretty good parallel hit there. And this Matt Chapman short print card is about a $4 card, so not too bad there. On to other things, Tops Now card is pretty useless, not even including that. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 85 insert cards. Uh, total value of those is about $10. Uh, a Pete Alonzo uh, Tops Choice card value there, about a $2 card. Uh, Garrett Cole short print, this is the, the most common short print, it turns out. This card is only worth about a buck or two. A Miles Nicholas Independence Day card, again similar to not not a great parallel, only worth a buck or two. Manny Machado Home Run Challenge, but a, again a $2 card. These Decades Best cards... We got one, two, three, four, four of them. Those are about two dollar cards each as well. This is Peralta gold card is about probably a bunk or two. And then our chrome cards that were not that rookie Dustin May, just a couple base ones. Those are about two dollars each as well. And this decades next Bobachette card um is about a three or four dollar card. So when it's all said and done, rough approximately monetary value out of top series one. Uh, we got kind of one each of the good rookies besides Alvarez, which is pretty cool, and an auto. So you're looking at about a total box value when said and done, about $84, $85, somewhere in that range. So not too shabby. Let's put our best hits up here. And in this box definitely was these... Um, those two there, as well as these, um, a couple good rookies. Now, Series 2. This battle was very close, by the way. On the Series 2, what kind of saved them, of course, was these Luis Robert-based rookies. We hit two of those, and those are about $20 each currently still. So there's a good chunk of value right there. Got a short print of Blake Snell. Which was worth about four or five dollars. And we got a gold Akiyama rookie card. This actually was worth more than I was expecting it to be. It was about a four or five dollar card. This Kramer Black Parallel out of sixty nine, not quite as much as that Manny Machado one, but this is only a couple bucks. And our hit for the box unfortunately was not an auto, it was a jersey relic. So that kind of balances out those repair hits for a bit, and this is only about a three four dollar card or so wilson Contreras, and on to other stuff we got one two three four base chrome cards nothing crazy there about two bucks each tops now card kind of a throwaway warrior of the diamonds card about two bucks again most of these inserts are about a buck or two mike trout base insert uh jordan alvarez home run challenge again about a buck or two one two three four decades best cards again about two dollars each and one two three four uh, 2030 inserts. These are only about a buck each besides the Tatis. That's like two or three dollar card because obviously Tatis going crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six of the 85 style cards again. About two bucks each or so. About ten dollars in value there. Uh, these gold Waka and Odorizzi are probably just a buck or two. Rainbow foils aren't pretty much anything and this Josh Hader insert is probably a buck or less. So top hits from that box, of course, the Robert um, and our Jersey Relic there. So when it's all said and done, total value of approximately top Series 2, thanks to those Roberts, is about $94, $95, so about $10 higher than Series 1. Uh, based on my liens in the cards, I, I think I enjoy the box of Series 1 better. However, I think because of the Roberts, um, you're kind of putting all your rookie cards in one basket, whereas here you get a lot of solid rookies, especially this Bichette and Lewis and the Lux. Um, I, I'm going to have to, unfortunately, give this battle, though, to top Series 2 based on those Roberts. And um, the inserts are pretty much all on par. So basically you got Roberts against these rookies pretty even when it's said and done, although the two Roberts is... You know, tremendously more value right now than these cards. Um, but anyways, I'm going to give our winner to Tops Series 2 right there in the 
right hand side. So let's get rid of these crappy Series 1 cards. There we go. Load them up with the Series 2 hits. Uh, so they're going to move on in the next Hobby Box battle. Those are the, the best of the box right there. So anyways, this was kind of fun. Hope you guys like it. Again, it's going to have some serious editing in it because I had some interruptions and such. But um, yeah, hope this was cool. And our winner, Tops 2020 Baseball Series 2 Hobby Box, knocking off Tops 2020 Series 1. Uh, so thank you all for watching. Peace out. Look for more cool videos. I'm going to try to do some different stuff here.